Now, I like Naruto. It's my third favorite anime right behind Dragon Ball and JoJo. So I was doing some homework and in the middle of it, it hit me. Neji was right. Let's take a trip to the tuning exams. Naruto versus Neji. Now I hate this fight as a fight. Neji had every right to win, but plot armor was in Naruto's favor. The dude took a full 64 palms to the body and stood up. Now the symbolism of this fight is really good. It's a clash of ideologies. Neji believes that your fate is predetermined and that he will always be in service to the main branch of his family no matter what. Naruto believes that you can build your own fate and that you can shift your destiny how you see fit. Now as much as I love Naruto's belief, it's a load of horse manure. Like I said before, one of the problems that I have with this fight is that Naruto got slammed by the 64 palms and stood up. And the only reason he was able to do this was because he had a demon beast inside him given to him at birth. Due to this, he was able to unlock super mega bejesus mode, dodging light speed lasers and manifesting chakra avatars who can make explosions that you can probably see from space, who has basically infinite chakra reserves that allows him to spam his best attack as much as he wants. Naruto, I'm cursed serving the head branch of the Hyuga clan and my fate is predetermined. Nah man, you don't have to do that Neji, you can change your own fate and you don't have to be constricted to the services of your family. However saying that, I was also blessed with the strongest tail beast in existence and I'm also the reincarnation of Ninja Jesus. And you want to know something that really grinds my gears, what salts my apples, what censors my hentai? Neji is killed protecting Hinata, the head branch of the Hyuga clan.